Hello, fierce loves. Welcome in. Sabadi ka. Mabuhay. And you are all back with me, Fierce Sai. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. And my name is Sai. That's why it's called Fierce Sai. I do videos with regards to jewelry and Pandora every Tuesdays, beauty and fashion Fridays, and everything and anything under the sun on Sundays. That's why I call it Sunday Special. So for this particular video, I am going to share with you my super exciting haul, unboxing, and try out of my Carolina Herrera makeup finds from Harrods. So I am really excited to go ahead and try them since the moment they were launched. It was on Instagram, I saw it on Harrods, and I waited for it for quite some time. And finally, it's here with me. And if you also wanted to know and see how i made this eye look i made a tutorial video and i used my super lovely pat mcgrath mothership number no. seven divine rose palette you will see that and i will put the link on the description bar or at the end of this video i also have two more other videos from harris and that's my unboxing and try on of my dolce and cabana sneak peek and then the harrods um beauty gift so um they give 26 items if you buy a certain amount i think it was like 250 british pounds yeah so i have a separate video about that so go ahead and watch it so without further ado let's get started because i cannot wait and share with you this awesome goodies and i wanted to unbox them right away so let's do this all right so here are the items that i bought from harrods for Carolina Evera makeup and I'm going to unbox them one by one. So for the first item, of course, I'm grabbing my favorite lipsticks. I love lipsticks. So this is the Carolina Herrera Sheer Lipstick Refill. And then the price for this is 25 British pounds. That's quite expensive. Oh goodness. Just for the refill. So this is just one part of the lipstick. And um, this is the shade 142 in Nude Touch. Oh goodness, I, I bought the nudes for Carolina Herrera and also for Dutch and Gabbana that I also have another video, so please check it out. So this is how it looks. Okay, so at the bottom we have the useful information, how many months um, it is, like a... Let's see that. 18 months from the time you open it. And then the uh, shade, of course, of the lipstick. So it also has this cap. Um, so it doesn't spoil or whatnot. And it preserves the lipstick. So I have to remove this part. Like so. And this is the lipstick shade. Ooh. I do not remember that this is the shade that I have chosen. Goodness. Man. Let's see how it's going to be in the lips. I'm going to put that here for now because I wanted to open the cap. And it's this one. So, so for the cap, I have chosen the Zebra Print Lipstick Cap which is 17 British pounds. So there are so many other designs online, but um, I chose this one because I think this is the one that would fit much more on my collection. So it looks like this. Oh, wow. So it's like this, very nice zebra print. It's plastic. And it has H on the top, like so. And then it has this ring where you can put on the accessories and whatnot. So this is how it works. So you grab the reveal for 25 and then the cap for 17. Oh goodness. And there. Now you finally have a lipstick with a cap. 
So that's that. And then of course, I would love to put on the accessories because that's what makes this lipstick unique. All right, so I am going to open the next one, which is this exciting part that will add a pop of color to this cute lipstick. And this is the Carolina Herrera Lipstick Case tassel charm which is 10 british pounds so there's a lot of colors on the harrods website so many cute ones but seriously my favorite color is pink and i gotta have the pink one um i wanted to try it first and see if i would like to have another one or another set of lipstick so i only got one of each wow so this is how it looks a nice pretty pink a long tassel and how it works is that there is the magnet just right here and then we grab the lipstick and then poof so it's like that <laughs> it just magnetized themselves let's see oh yeah well that is a pretty strong magnet did you see that so even if you like um you pull it from the tassel, the tube will come out. So that's cool. So in order for you to remove this magnet, you have to uh, really hold the refill tube like so. Otherwise, you remove the entire tube. Carolina Herrera Beetle Charm in pink. Of course, so it matches the tassel. So it comes in this um, red packaging, but it's actually really cute that uh, there is this transparent plastic here so you see what's inside. And it's like this. Ta-da! So cute, oh my gosh. So it's a nice one. With um, a pink enamel for the body and then like so okay so how do we put this one hmm I think I have to open the bangle first attach it to the top right here so I can add this yes I think so because just by looking at it I don't think that you could put it like that. So you really have to buy the bangle separately if you wanted to have this cool, cute charms. Okay, so let me just put that here for now. And this is the bangle. So the bangle for the lipstick is 12 British pounds. Has um, Carolina Herrera. Just a... Uh, it's like only laser printed in there. It's not engraved deeply. Yeah, and there was no texture. So Carolina Herrera, it says there, and then it says New York over here. So we push it like so. All right, then let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so let's push the part that says New York. And then put the round part of the top of the lipstick case or lipstick cap. And then we put this um, pink beetle inside the bangle, like so. And there it is. So now we have this bougie, cute lipstick. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I like I it. Like, um, I think this, this Carolina Herrera is so cute. You can you can hang this on your bag or I don't know, just just use it like this. This is this so cute. But let's go ahead and move on to the other part of this unboxing. And I am actually talking about the contact. And then the price is 24 British pounds. Oof. Hmm, this is quite hefty. Oh, okay. This compact does, did not disappoint. Oh, wow. 
Okay, I like that velvet pouch in red because most of the velvet pouches are just in black. So this is the one for Dolce & Gabbana that I also unboxed from Harrods. You can check out the video of this one at the end of um, this video. So yeah, and then there is um, a just a white ribbon right here. Okay. Oh, nice. So the item came wrapped. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I'm really happy that this is quite heavy. I like the items that has weights because you really feel the luxury on them. Okay, that's... Uh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, this excites me. I thought that the lipstick will excite me more because I'm a lipstick lover, but this one makes me appreciate this Carolina Herrera more. And this did not disappoint. Okay, so this is how it looks. So you could also refill this uh, case, of course, with um, depending on which one you wanted to put in there. Because the ones available on the website is a powder, highlight, and a bronzer shade. I chose the highlight. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then um, you could either have this on top or... What not? But um, let me see if the mirror is actually right there. Yeah, you cannot move that here. Then this is really the bottom. Okay. And then you can customize this part right here because it's magnetic. So I have the one that we could use to customize it and I only bought one. So this is the... Carolina Herrera compact cover. So this compact cover is also in zebra print and the price for this one is nine British pounds. And yeah, it's this one. So cool. Okay, and just like that at the back. And then let's make sure that I am going to put it correctly. So that's the C. And then the H, okay. And then, whoops, oh, okay, that's also a very strong magnet. Oh, and so that's how it looks. Oh, I also like the red part, oh goodness. This is way better in person than in photos and then in the YouTube videos that I have watched because mind you, I watch everything, even the ones that are in different languages. So that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oof, so nice. Okay, and so this part right here is something that you could use to design it also, but I think we can deal with that later. I am going to unbox um, this part, which is the highlighter. So this highlighter refill Okay, so it's inside this black plastic. And it's this one. Okay. And it looks like this. Then let's put it inside the compact. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy about this compact. It's so heavy. Okay, see that I'm I'm really happy about how strong the magnet is in fairness to uh, this Carolina Herrera so, makeup. I really cannot wait to go ahead and share with you how this looks on me and I wanted to try this on as soon as possible but we have two more items. That one is this one. I am not quite sure if I'm going to put this one right now. Just at the back. Add a beetle ring and make it yours. Okay. I just wish that this is also that this also has a magnet instead and not um a sticky thingy so I could put it whichever side I wanted. So maybe I put a magnet here because I'm not sure if I want it in the front. 
but on the promo photos they put it at the back on the part where there's the red one so it, it looks like this there's only one color for the beetle key ring or ring holder so it's gonna look like that and then when you open it it like that it's like that and then you know hmm, I'm not sure I'm not sure really because I wanted this part so I am not gonna put it yet but at least you know where you can put it so it's either there or there up to you but I don't know where I'm gonna end up putting it but for now I will not one last item that I am going to share with you is this one so um this I could put on the beetle key ring or to add it on the lipstick Okay, so it's also a nice, cute white enamel for this flower. And then you can put it here on the beetle if you decide to go ahead and put it there. So it could be like that. It has a charm. Or like this. So it's either like that. Or you put this very cute white flower charm. So there. And that's it, everybody. So that's my unboxing of this two Carolina Herrera items together with all of their accessories. And now it's time for me to go ahead and try them on and see how these shades look on me. So fierce loves, here are the two Carolina Herrera items that I got. Well, they're not two, they're, they're quite a lot, but I mean two pieces of makeup. What? There are a lot of, there's a lot of pieces here. Anyways, you know what I mean, like um, one highlighter and then one lipstick. Oh my gosh, like really? I could just like do this all day. It's so cute. So that's that. And then now I'm finally going to try them on. This is like so cute. I think I like... I wanted to and then put it oh that really fits my outfit. Ooh, fierce. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Wow, it's being my earrings is being magnetized. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just really, really having fun with this one. But first let's go ahead and try this um what should we call it? Highlighter. Yes. Okay. So as you see, here's the zebra print. So stunning. And then this is the red back i love it and wow well, the weight really is getting me and then okay so it has a mirror and that's the shade and then now we could finally go ahead and swatch it for the first time oh wow 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 oh it's like what is is that a cream it's, it's like a cream it's not a powder it's so creamy when when i try to swatch it so this was two swirls and this is how it looks. So I'm going to try to apply it with my finger instead since it's so creamy. I don't think that I should apply it with a brush. What do you think? I'm going to move closer to the camera so we see better. You know what? When I swirl, it, like the pan is also moving. Okay. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. This did not disappoint. You should really see my review of the Dolce and Gabbana and you would know. I have different feelings about the Carolina Herrera and the Dolce and Gabbana. Wow. I think this is something that I would reach for quite often. Okay. It melts in the skin. I like this cream highlighters because it just like natural highlight and then oh, it, it oof. you know what i mean you see it you can see that wow All right. okay i'm gonna go ahead and try that on the other cheek i kid you not like it is so creamy so creamy I wish you could feel the texture because I do not have 
anything like this and mind you I have lots of highlighters I have cream highlighters too I, I one of my favorites is the one from Colourpop wow there's only one shade for this once again and then it this one is called the universal shade okay has teeny 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 bit scent to it like you know how the luxury makeup smells like this is a teeny bit not as overpowering as let's say the rose scent of the by terry products or the scent of the Guerlain makeup it's not like like that <laughs> okay it's so different from the pen and then like how it looks on the cheeks I like that hmm. I think if you only have one choice and you wanted to grab something for the compact go for the highlight because I'm sure that the formulation of this highlight is something that you do not have on your collection unless you have like crazy many um, cream highlighters I even have a fancy highlighter here but it doesn't feel the same as the one from this Carolina Herrera what about this bougie lipstick I'm hoping that I did not choose the wrong color because when I opened it earlier I was like um that is what not what I was expecting but let's see look at that mm, super cute two charms in here oh seriously I just cannot stop playing with this this is just so stunning oh this is so pretty okay let's do this and if I remember correctly yep you could do like that because the magnet with um, the tassel is so strong mm. okay let's do this so I am going to try it on the loops first and then I'm gonna give you um, a hand swatch also so let Hmm, why was this shade again? I forgot. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Hmm. One thing's for sure, I do not have a shade like this, but it's not in a bad way. I think that it could be my everyday lip color. Okay, this is pretty. This is pretty. Hmm. It's a nice um, sheer creamy brown shade. Okay, and I love the texture of it on the lips. I'm really happy because I remember that I watched all of the reviews and the videos with the lipsticks and everybody saying that stay away from the mattes. And I think that, yes, this formula is way better it's nice on the lips, um, it's not so heavy, it's not sticky, and I could rock this one. It really accentuates my eye color too, like it matches my Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose to eyeshadow look in here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's do this swatch. And it's like so that okay I have to give you my final thoughts on this Carolina Herrera product right about now okay so the lipstick is really nice is it necessary no if you are a collector you know that you would like to have it and I am a collector of lipstick I can do not. I have bazillions of the Guerlain um, lipsticks on, and the mirror cases and I should share that with you. I'm also going to do a comparison of luxury lipsticks um, of how they are, if they're worth it. So I'm going to do that very, very soon, I promise you guys. From, um, from Guerlain, Chanel, Tom Ford, Carolina Herrera, Dolce & Gabbana, and so much more. So yeah, but really this is so pretty I like it it makes me happy just by looking at it, it makes me happy 
I don't know where I'm going to put it because I can't decide. I just really wanted to hold it right now. And of course, um, I love the shade of the lipstick, as you see. Nice and pretty. I love it. The compact. Oh. It's a collector's item and it's so heavy. Years from now, this is going to be vintage. It even looks vintage right now. This is like a museum piece. Like, this is something that you could just remove with a, or like um your your grand granddaughter <laughs> grandson could enjoy in the future because they could just remove the pan easily put something on in there and they could reuse it this is going to be with you until you are 80 90 100 it's so pretty i could imagine myself rocking this highlighter on my 80s and my 90s can you not and yeah i love it i love it it's timeless piece this both are timeless pieces and i cannot wait um for caroline Herrera to release more of her makeup products i hope she does because these are amazing and i love it i'm really happy about this purchase of mine and I cannot wait to use them more and more. And I think I really made a decision, the right decision to um, chose this lipstick, not a red one because I have bazillions of reds already and I do not have a lot of this type of color. So that's about it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed from unboxing to the try on to the comparison. I love it so much and please don't forget to go ahead and check out my video which I've been telling you earlier, my unboxing and my try on of these two products which I bought the same, a lipstick and a highlighter. You must see that one. And then my eye look out of my Padma Grat Labs um, Divine Rose. I also made a video um, on this makeup using this brushes from Luxie and it's the complete face set and also a video of the Harrods beauty gift that's a separate video so yes please go ahead and check all of those out in the full face makeup that I did for this look just change the outfit yes see you on my next video and remember to stay fierce and fly high love you all